in this tutorial we're going to talk about welding and cutting geometry up a little bit because we need to know that as well you know you need to know how to sort of sort problems out and even how to create a few of your own as well so what we've got here is just a simple flat plane and I've taken one of the strips of polygons out and we're going to look at several different ways that we can join this back up and heal this mesh and weld all these sort of edges and weld this geometry back together again I'm going to start with vertices so I'll select the vertex option here and you can see here that all the vertices have indeed turned blue to indicate where they are and I've got a couple of different ways that I can work here first one would be would be to select a matching pair of vertices and to try and use the weld option now you notice here I'm pressing it and nothing's happening that's because I need to go to the weld settings and I need to increase something called the threshold now the threshold is the distance beyond which these um, vertices will seek another vertex out so for example this is set to point 0.1 so obviously point 0.1 isn't enough so the search area isn't big enough I need to increase that search area so that it includes this second vertex so I'm going to increase that up and I'll maybe make that 10 times bigger so instead of um, point 0.1 I'll make it 1 and now we'll try again well 1 isn't big enough either so let's try again I'm doing this just to prove the point by the way no 10 isn't big enough let's try 100 there you go 100 was big enough so now I can oh now I can go back and just press weld and there you go you see we've welded that vertex together so if I do a couple of those you can see that I would then have to work my way down now if I selected more than that so I selected all of these down here and I press weld there's a danger that they're all going to weld together as one point which may or may not be what we want so you've got to be careful with this one okay let's go back a couple of examples undo that a little bit one way that will work that's quite good is something called collapse I do have to be careful that I only pick these two but what collapse will do is it will weld to the midpoint of these two vertices yeah if I was to select all of these I know now that the midpoint I'm being shown is here and that's exactly where the vertex is going to end up the one vertex at the end and oh there we go didn't do that did it after my second punch but there you go it was still it still ended up as being where I wanted to be even though it didn't work initially as I was expecting it to I was actually expecting that all to sort of collapse down into into one but it's decided it was going to do two and then one so that's another way that we can do things we can just collapse just do some control Z there we have got now the thing you'll find there is that with both of those with both the weld and the collapse they were going to kind of a midpoint a common point in between in the middle one other thing I can use is something called target weld and target weld will determine which vertex goes to which edge so for example if I target weld I click on that vertex I've got a little rubber band here that you can see and I click on the one on the right hand side it's going to weld this edge onto that one so let's just carry on with that and see and there you go we've got a nice simple clean single edge and that's all one object again so if I go to my element you see if I go to polygon it's all there if I decide to delete these two polygons out of here I'm left with a whacking great big hole and I've now got to fill that hole so we've looked at how we how we sew that edge up together but how do we how do we how do we sort of get rid of this hole well again there's a couple of different ways that we can do it one of them would be to select my cap tool here or my my border edge tool and then go to cap and that would indeed cap that hole but there's no cut line there so we'll come back to that one in a moment another way to do this would actually be to come down here under my edit geometry and go to create and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new um, face by moving counterclockwise and each time I'm clicking on a vertex and I'm moving in a counterclockwise direction so there you go you see but now what we've got is vertices or faces rather which are actually connected to the main body which is always useful rather than being completely separate 
and I've completely remade that shape. Now the other way that I did this, that was create by the way, um, the other way that I did this once I've got that hole was I selected the border edge and then I used this cap option down here under edit borders. And what that did was that that left me with a, a face, that's great, but there's no line in between here. There's nothing, there's no way that I can control that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to come down to, in the object mode, under edit geometry, I'm going to come down to cut. And that's going to give me my cut tool, my cut polygon tool. And one thing you'll notice as I move around the screen here is that the icon, the cursor is changing quite a lot. The cursor that I have at the moment is the one that's telling me that the cut tool is over a face. This one is telling me it's over an edge, and this one says it's found a, a vertex. So if I left click now, and I move my cursor over till I get to this vertex and I left click again, what it's done is it's cut from one vertex to another, so we've got a perfectly parallel cut exactly where we wanted it to be, which is good. If I also want to, I can go from one vertex to an edge and come back to a vertex. And if I want to do something else again, I could create some kind of wild and slightly wacky shape. There we go, within a polygon. Now, because of the nature of polygons, we have to have this one edge here. You can't get away without it, I'm afraid. It's just the way that they are. But what you do have is the ability to select that as a separate face and then use one of our extrudes on it to then extrude that out from the surface of the object. And if I select that second triangle, click OK, you can see there those two rather random looking shapes have now been extruded off the surface simply by using the cut tool. So very quick, very simple, very easy. And again, those few tools there, you're going to find very, very useful in your arsenal of modeling tools.